Welcome Super Souls to the Moon Magic Tarot channel. Thank you so, so much for guiding me. Today we are asking your future self what opportunities and exciting surprises are coming into your life in the next six months. This card, literally as I picked up this pack of cards, this card has already shown itself. So we're going to draw three cards to guide you in, to tune you into your intuition along with a rune and a charm as well. This is definitely reading number two and I am, oh yes, definitely seeing reading number three as well. So let's turn these over and then we will draw a rune and a charm as well. So this will be reading number one. Wow, <laughs> that's a gorgeous card for the next six months. Ladybug, good luck. Stunning, stunning card. Reading number two, you have the moose, integrity. And reading number three, panda, balance. Okay, so we are asking your future self, what opportunities are coming your way? What exciting surprises are coming into your life in the next six months? Reading one, you have the rune of strength. Reading number two, you have the rune of harvest. Gorgeous energy. Reading number three, you have the rune of movement. Okay. Reading one, you have the charm of the star. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful energy. Reading number two, wow, you have the, um, the turtle, the energy of the turtle. Reading number three, you have the owl. Okay, so Super Souls, I will leave the video running just for a few moments. You may want to press pause if you're not quite sure. You may find yourself drawn to more than one of these readings, particularly given that we are spanning the next six months. We're asking your future self what opportunities and exciting surprises are coming your way. So I will leave you um, to just listen to your intuition and be guided in. I will put this reading in the Timeless Readings playlist so you can access that really, really easily at any time that you want to come back if you're watching one reading today and want to come back to another at a later time. Super Souls, I will see you in the readings. Welcome Super Souls to reading number one. You have been guided in by the Ladybug card, good luck, the star and the rune of strength. And the first thing we're going to do is draw an archetype card. I can see this one showing itself for you. You have Kairos. Mm, very, very interesting. Look at that eye. Wow. Okay. So your future self, we are asking your future self, what exciting surprises, what exciting opportunities are coming to you in the next six months? We'll draw various oracle cards before we dive into these, but this is a really, it's just such a, a vibrant flowing kind of I want to say perfect timing, divine timing type energy around this reading already. Ooh, another card showing itself there, Super Souls, just as I sort of parked them just over there. Really interesting. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got with these oracle cards to start with. So 
first of all your angel answers perfect perfect timing remain positive and a year from now now this is really interesting because this is a reading where we are asking about what's going to happen in the next six months and the perfect timing that's exactly what I was already tuning in with that was exactly what I was feeling I feel like there's an opportunity coming your way and but actually maybe you're not going to see the actual like the full harvest for a year now details details perfect timing come together storm fields okay this is really interesting Mm. Wow. Okay. Perception and you've got strength dignified. Strength again. Do you know, reading number one, before I dive in here, before I dive in here, I'm going to draw some additional tarot cards. I, I'm feeling already quite a distinct clear pathway and message coming through for you guys but i do want to say let's just have a quick look i'm just asking your future selves could you please just guide us in for reading number one what is taking place in the next six months okay that will be good for now though we may draw some more cards let's just have a little look at your tarot going to bring this down here. Ten of Swords. Knight of Swords. Knight of Discs. Wheel of Fortune. And the Princess of Wands. Okay. Let's, let's lay these out so hopefully you guys can see them all. So the very, very essence, I think, Super Souls, for this reading in the next six months for you is to do with perfect timing. There is going to be some window of opportunity. Now we're going to ask a little bit more about it. On the one hand, I, I just feel that something is going to complete for you. Literally, it will come together. It will reach its completion. If you're working on a project or you're, um, yeah, whatever it is that you're manifesting, your future self is saying, look, this is going to come together. It's going to arrive at a space of completion. I'm going to draw some more runes in a moment. It's like luck is really with you, but you're needing to um, be patient with it. it. It's something that in a way, I think right here and right now, for some of you, you're feeling like, almost like some of you are feeling like either you're getting bogged down in the details or you feel like you're going to miss the boat. You know, if it doesn't happen now, it'll never happen or it won't come together. That There's that sort of feeling of, you know, the potential for you getting a little bit um, negative about it, really, ultimately. Remain positive. Your future self is saying to you, look, even if you feel this isn't happening, it's going to. Be persistent and pay attention to the details. This will come to a completion actually much more quickly than you think. And if there are any delays in your project, your, your dream, whatever it is, your, the dream bit of your life that you're manifesting, actually, you may not feel like luck is with you, but it is. There's basically divine timing at work here. There is absolutely divine timing at work. And you're being asked here by your future self to persist. Remain consistent, persist. Whatever is coming together, it's going to, the storm cloud, the storm fields, the storm clouds are going to pass and it will come to fruition. What I feel like, it, it's almost like with divine timing you're working on something or you're manifesting something, it's going to start to come together. 
you do need to pay attention to the details, but it's almost like you don't get the return immediately. So it's like you're investing in something, you're investing in something that is, whether it's a project, it's a bit like writing a book and then suddenly you get the publishing deal and it's amazing, but actually you don't see the rewards for another year. So there's work to be done. And there is a little bit of a bit of you. I'm kind of seeing there's some of you are getting a little bit bogged down in the details and then you're also getting bogged down in feeling like, do you know, it's not going to happen. I'm never going to get it right. You know, that sort of self doubt replay is going on. Now your future self is saying, look, there's real the divine timing is, is happening here. It's not going to be the right moment immediately. It will happen within the next six months. This is going to come together. Literally, you're going to get to this point of harvest, the night of discs. Okay. It, I, I feel like I, what I've got in here is, is this sort of, it's like a part of you is like really impatient. You know what you want to do. You've got the idea, but oh, you're, you're getting bogged in the details or you're struggling to achieve it or other stuff is arriving, you know, the storm fields, you know, keep rocking up and knocking you off balance or taking up your time or, you know, sending you off on another track. Don't worry about it. Your, your future self is saying, look, do not worry about this. This is actually going to happen and it's going to happen big time. I'm really seeing that. It's like you're going to reach this space where you are just sitting there kind of almost in the glory of it. Okay. At the moment, your perception is being almost challenged. Actually, that's what I want to say. It's like your perception of time. That's what's really coming through. I said divine timing from the moment we started this reading. Your perception is being challenged in terms of it is it's like it's like a test of time it's like it's almost like you guys i feel like you understand manifestation and you, you know you get it you understand there's a process to go through but you're raring to go and it's not quite coming together and it's almost like you're being tested to see whether you will stay on track and persevere whether you can remain positive, hold your faith, it's going to come together. Whether this is a relationship that you are manifesting, whether it is a project, a creative project, any aspect of your world, super souls, you may not be seeing it, but actually divine timing and luck is with you. There is going to be a perfect moment where almost like the struggle ends and off you go. And then the harvest at this stage comes in. And then in a year from now, you really, really reap the rewards. At the moment, your future self is saying, look, your perception is getting in the way. Okay. Because your perception is saying, oh, it's not happening. Some of you are giving yourself a very hard time. Okay, and um, that really needs to stop. <laughs> I always like feel like uh, in this card, I mean, this is a card, the Ten of Swords is a completion card. It's the end of something, but you're actually being asked by your future self to stop persecuting yourself. Stop giving yourself a hard time. Remain positive. There is going to come a turning point. Now we're asking your future self, what opportunities and exciting surprises are coming into your life in the next six months? Actually, this is a time to be diligent, consistent and persevere, even though you can't see the divine timing. Your future self is saying there is divine timing at work. And one of your, the, the, the little test probably quite a big test for some people, you know, because we can wobble a lot, can't we? The big test here is your perception, is looking at something and thinking it's just not happening and feeling like giving up, feeling like luck isn't with you. You're being asked to persevere. You are absolutely being asked to persevere. The rune of strength speaks of both terminations and new beginnings, but it's symbolized by the 
the sun, so that's the creative source of energy, life source, um, being pulled across the sky in a, in a sort of a wagon by an ox. So it's that strength, that continuance, that perseverance. The sun, is, the sun rises every day and the sun sets every day. And even if it's cloudy and we can't see it, that's still happening. And we're being asked to really tune in with that divine timing. Luck is going to be with you. The star, like the star card in the tarot is, is holding hope holding faith. Whatever you are working on, it is only your perception that's going to slow you down. Slow, steady, consistent progress. Pay attention to the details. But just be diligent. Honestly, it's coming together. It really is. And the storm fields will be behind you. You know, you're going to come through this strength again with that real sense of, well, solidness. What I want to say is super souls. Whether you are working on some aspect of a, of a soulmate connection, a relationship, or whether you are working on some kind of creative project or you're, you're finding your calling or your purpose, whatever it is, building a family, building a house, moving, whatever it is you're working on. Actually, this is a, a foundation for the future. That's what you're actually building. You're building something really solid that will have the potential to last into the future. You may not see the real, you may not reap the rewards. It's like if you're, if you're doing, let's say you were doing a self build a house, you know, and you're really sitting there thinking, oh, I'm never going to achieve this, you know, brick by brick, it's just not going to happen. And you know, it is, but you're not going to see the real, you're not going to be sitting there with a glass of, I don't know, bubbly in your hand, celebrating the fact that you're permanently moved in for another year. Consistent progress, just because you can't see that solid form yet, or you're, or there are interruptions. It's coming in, it's going to come together. There will be a point in the next six months, there will be a point of complete and utter shift when something is just sorted, completed, it comes to an end in your world, possibly something that's been interfering, you know, something that's got in the way. We'll draw some more cards around this, um, but it's going to come to its natural completion. It will come to an end and there will almost be like the freedom, energetically, the freedom to move forwards, to power forwards, and you will get to that point of harvest. The wheel of fortune will turn and then your future self is saying, it's like, then you're on a roll. You know, it's like the next six months is then, is then plain sailing because you, you get to the point where everything comes to you, where you, you've built that house, you can move in, but there'll come a point when you can really see the progress that is solid right now. It's like your future self is saying that you need to persevere and you need to have faith and to trust. So let's draw more cards, Super Souls, from reading number one, and let's ask, you know, everything is saying divine timing here. Let's ask a little bit more about this turning point here, because I'm really seeing that very clearly. There's a turning point. Yeah, what do we have? Ten of Swords again. So something that has either been troubling you getting in the way, it's going to come to an end and, and it will happen within the next six months. And when it does, yeah, you'll see the way. It's like divine timing. The pathway will open for you. You'll see the divine timing. Everything will then come back into balance. Okay. I feel like your future self is saying that you're going to initially go through a phase where um, it's going to feel a bit stormy, almost like you're, you have some breathing space, you think you're moving forwards and something else pops up. Just, just ride it out, truly ride it out. There will come a point when, and I feel like it's going to be something external will take place. 
I don't think it's anything that you can do. Okay, divine timing is at work. There's nothing that you can personally do about this. There will be an external something that allows this to shift and move and it will happen within the next six months. There will be a turning point. Mm. Yeah, you leave something behind and you move through, through and beyond. I do still want to draw more cards for you reading number one. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> the Empress and King of Swords. Yeah, this is this is the reaping the rewards bit. The moment this happens, something comes to a completion, something comes to an end. There's either a conflict or or somebody's needing something from you or there's there's something that is drawing on your personal energy now you guys will know exactly what that is you may be processing something you may be processing some kind of an ending you may be in a transitionary position with a, a job or a, a relationship or whatever it is the moment that completes and the timing will be perfect the way will clear. Now, for some of you, I think this might be quite quick. For others, you know, your future self is saying, you know, persevere, pay attention to the details because this will come together. But we are talking the next six months. So we're talking, you know, you know, this is going to happen and it's going to happen quite quickly. And I think there'll be a speeding up of things. The key here, the essence here at the moment is to do with your perception and not allowing it, to, the fact that something isn't moving as quickly as you want to get you down. It's going to happen. You're going to birth this into the world. You do have to transform, you let go of something. But my goodness me, in the process of that, the new just arrives. Again, I'm going to ask for more information around what is this ending this completion it, it may be that we we're not to be shown this because this is a general reading it's a timeless reading so it's going to be so it, it will be whatever it is in the uniqueness of your personal life it's very interesting this ladybug card though because the ladybug card says you know again luck is actually with you so even if you're feeling like something isn't shifting your future self is saying it's actually happening literally as it's meant to very powerful reading super souls so i'm going to just ask a little bit more about what are you leaving behind what's this connecting to there's your card seven of bowls clearance hmm very interesting card. Look at that. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Now this does give us some more insight. What I want to say is Super Souls. Um, now there are external circumstances going on around you that are either interfering, causing a a delay, a hiccup, and as we've said, divine timing is is in hand. But seven of bows clearance. Okay, what this card is actually saying is, and this is really important reading number one, you have a choice as to how you respond to these external circumstances. It's a very clear message. This is a card of choice cloud of direction you have a choice as to how you respond okay and the way that you respond will either quicken up the process the process and the ending and the, the beginning the, the the shift in energy the rebalancing or it will slow it down but you have a choice within this okay so even though external circumstances are happening and will to some extent feel as if they're out of your control because we have no control over anyone else we only have control over us we can't control circumstances or other people we can control how we respond to circumstances and other people you have a choice in this 
very interesting. I'm going to draw from the Akashic Tarot to see what karmic energy is around this. But you have a choice. So there's divine timing at work. Within that, your future self is saying you can speed this up a little bit um, by making very conscious choices along the way here. You don't have to cling to something or cling to an old pattern or an old thinking, an old thinking pattern or an old way of behaving and responding. You have a choice. We'll draw from the Akashic and I'm going to draw from the Art of Manifestation Oracle cards as well. I'll list the cards in the timestamps as well. Yeah, add, add, this is absolutely, add some, I arrive. This is putting you back in charge. And we have the muse in reverse. Oh, I'm going to do some energy shifting in this reading. Super souls, I absolutely am. Oh, and there's your card already showing. Open yourself to possibility. Right. Right. Right, 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 right. How exciting. Okay. Super, super souls, reading number one. Your future selves are being adorable. <laughs> it's like they really, really, really want to give you the information you need to be transformative, to be the point of power in your own life, to be your strengths. Um, and my goodness me, the good luck is absolutely with you. This rune always says to me that the universe has your back. It's like the universe supports your progress. The universe supports your perseverance, your patience. Your future self is saying, look, hey, you want to speed this up a little bit? Now, there are circumstances going on around you where divine timing is in place and you cannot speed up divine timing, but you can speed up your own energetic resonance by choosing to respond to things differently. It's like what you then speed up is your own movement forwards. So you're on track with something, you're on your way to something, you're building that house, writing that book, you're meeting that person and building that relationship, but things keep getting in the way, there's no time, da da da, you know that's what's happening. Be diligent, be consistent, including in your belief. Add some is a card that tells you your guides, your angels are with you. And it's almost like a card for me of affirmation, where we say, add some, I arrive. And then we say the outcome. And it's like an affirmation that says, I'm here. And the universe kicks in um, and says, okay, that's your order, I'll deliver. So add some, I arrive, my book is finished. Add some, I arrive, um, my house is built, or the right builder comes along, or, you know, add some, I arrive with a statement of of intent that that almost completes it's like completing the circle of intent where we start with a dream and a vision we then have to persevere but holding your energy of completion completing that circle of intent will aid your ability to navigate any of the incoming stuff that is out of your control and it will enable you to remain focused. Your future self is adorable. Your future self is saying, look, you can do this. We can do this. You know, learn from my mistakes. We can do this. The muse is in reverse. This is the card I'm going to shift. We're going to do some energy shifting in terms of moving the energy forwards. So perception is everything. Okay. Open yourself to possibility. Almost everyone holds some limiting beliefs about themselves. These perceptions block us from receiving the infinite support of the universe. This card is an invitation to reassess and look beyond these limitations and to recognize that in opening yourself to possibility, you automatically invite positive change into your life. It's like there's something that keeps weighing you down or nagging at you or dragging you down or whether it's internal or indeed, uh, for a lot of you, it's being triggered. Maybe there are internal thinking patterns and repetitive self-doubt, but it's being triggered by external events. 
but you can decide if your buttons get pressed um, well they're your buttons you decide what you want to do with them I know that's easier said than done I have to just say that so you know and I am truly sending you the, the biggest um, um, the biggest removal of self-doubt hug in the world okay reading number one believe have faith remain positive hold that energy seven of bows clearance if anything shows up just be diligent remain on track because as long as you are consistent even if you have to only do tiny little steps it's like your future self is saying do you know what little steps um you know five minutes a day an hour a day two hours a day whatever you can commit if you commit to that and you stick to it you would be blown away by how quickly this is coming together if you are building a new relationship or calling in a soulmate just consistently rather than feeling deflated losing faith too many interruptions you make a commitment actually I'm going to stay up half an hour later and go on that dating site you might not meet someone on that dating site but you're in the zone and just that commitment step by step honestly your future self is saying this is this is just gonna move on so quickly the muse is a card of inspiration and at the moment it's like your inspiration is being a little bit blocked your sense of possibility is being blocked I feel like you go up and then you go down and then you go up you you get a burst of enthusiasm something happens you go down again something comes in and you think oh, I'll do it tomorrow I haven't got time today persist diligence keep going it's going to come together the storm fields will pass and you can to some extent switch off from these external influences by holding your pathway and honestly it's going to come together your future self is saying so really really this shift will occur very quickly if you persist and commit step by step little by little that's really really what your future self is saying then what you are birthing into the world is just going to go da -da. it's going to manifest in its entirety and yeah whatever that stage is you know maybe it will be a year from now before you you know that person um I don't know if you're calling in a soulmate and you, you are hoping for a real commitment before that person gets down on one knee and proposes to you before you actually move into that house um, before the book goes out for sale but in the meantime you complete it you get to this stage of completion and then you're in it for the journey and it's ongoing um, it's the ongoing build-up to the to sort of the abundance bit where it just it's delivered okay so the delivery is in a year your future self is saying but this six months how you handle this is up to you you have a choice seize the moment open yourself to possibility do this now what we are going to do is shift the energy of this card so sit with the reading as it is at the moment super souls i'm going to bring in a little bit in fact i'm going to bring in a very special um crystal angel what i actually have here is a cherry quartz angel now cherry quartz is an energy that literally helps us to unblock things it removes if we're feeling stuck or stagnant it shifts the energy it moves it so it's a magnificent shifter very interesting that I put this little angel right next to our light before I started the readings and I didn't I always trust if I'm drawn to an angel that it will be needed in in the reading somewhere and and here we have it so what we're going to do so breathe in just sit with this feel what it feels like okay and we're going to bring in the energy of this angel open yourself look at that sitting on the nine of swords that worry it's never going to happen open yourself to possibility this angel says let's get unblocked here we're going to shift this card Whew. oh i felt that right in my gut i don't know about you guys i really felt that and now you know we have the inspiration the inspiration isn't full speed ahead all guns blazing it's going to happen tomorrow it's little by little your personal commitment whatever outside influences happen they happen you can respond to those daily write a list 
but commit, doesn't matter whether it's five minutes, whether it's 10 minutes, whether it's three hours, you do what you can, but you do something every single day that tunes you in with the energy and the project or whatever it is. You lay one brick on your house. You write one sentence on your book. You contact one person on that dating site or if you are building a relationship, you make the effort to stop and you send that text, you know, whatever it is, whatever you are manifesting, divine timing is actually at work here. It really, really is. There are other things that are out of your control. There is a bigger picture, but you don't have to allow yourself to be defeated by this. The testing is literally, it's like the test of time. Perseverance, commitment, step by step, open yourself to possibility, hold that faith. Super souls, your future self is saying that magic moment will happen and da -da, it, it's just, it's going to be there. So good luck is truly on your side. Okay, super, super souls. Wow. Um, loving your reading, loving your reading, reading number one longer than I'd expected, but you know, I love it when the reading just finds its pathway and it just takes us into that storyline and your future self saying, I mean, it's so adorable. You know, I'm totally with you. I'm rooting for you. I'm walking beside you. Just do this and this and this, <laughs> you know, it's just delicious. It really is gorgeous. Reading number one, if you've enjoyed um, this reading and it's resonating with you, you may want to tune into some of the others. I will put a link to the Timeless Readings playlist because there, there's loads of readings in there. I'm building that playlist all the time, answering specific questions which you can tap into at any time you need to. So if you have a wobble, you can tune in with some of those. Um, I post a reading every single Sunday with guidance for the next seven days. They're also timeless too. We find the right reading for us at any given time. So I'm putting, going to start adding those weekly readings as well into the timeless playlist. So you can look at what's going on for me in the next seven days. Um, I do actually give away a pack of the Art of Manifestation Oracle cards. That's this card, the Open Yourself to Possibility and a free private reading every single month. So if you would like to, um, if you'd like to be in that drawer, it's a subscriber offer. Um, it, well, firstly, if you want to get notification of any of my readings, if you subscribe and press the little bell icon, they should come into your stream. I will put a link in the information box and in the comments for phone users if you want to join my subscriber email list. Once you're on it, you are on it forever and I announce the winners. I might even just start announcing the winners on a, on a single video so you guys that are on that playlist can tune into it and check it out really, really easily rather than going through a reading. So Super Souls, reading number one, um, your future self is awesome. I am just sending you tons and tons and tons of love. And yeah, you are awesome. Welcome reading number two. You have been drawn in by the turtle, by the rune of harvest and by the card of the moose integrity. This is, um, I feel like your future self is really honoring you. It's really interesting. There's a really interesting energy around you, Super Souls, reading number two. Let's, let's draw some cards and see what your future self is telling you. What kind of exciting opportunities and surprises. Do you know we're going to do two from this pack are coming to you in the next six months, reading number two. Lovely energy here today around you. Really lovely. Just like a respect. There's a huge respect for you. Very, very interesting. What are you guys up to in your... Ooh! <laughs> Encouragement. Yeah, what are you guys up to in your personal lives? Mmm, <laughs> movement. Look at this. Okay, so... Let's look at these cards first. So we have your archetypes. Oh, super souls. Look at this. You have the seed and you have the poet. Okay. Then you have encouragement and movement. Oh, this is just lovely. 
<laughs> I'm really enjoying this. Oh, this is fab. Oh, you have root, imam coli, and Mars motion. <gasps> Gosh. You have something really important to share. You really do. You have something significant. I'm, I'm quite in awe of you, reading number two. Your future self is saying to you, look, you, this, this, is, it, this, is, um, this is so important that you bring this forth. Your Art of Manifestation card. You have problems and you have the cycles of the moon. This is really interesting. Okay. Now this card says, this card asks you to view any problems as an opportunity rather than a crisis. Whenever we identify a problem, our very recognition and acknowledgement of this difficulty creates an opportunity to seek a potential solution. As long as a problem remains unseen or indeed denied, the doorway to a potential solution remains closed. And we then have the cycles of the moon. This card invites you to attune yourself with the rhythms of the moon. Notice how the phases of the moon affect your energy and learn to use these energetic shifts within you to enhance your capacity to be consciously co-creative in all aspects of your life. Okay. What I first want to say, Super Souls, there's a really strong energy of respect. That's what came through. You know, it's like your future self is really honouring the pathway you've been on. You, you've had to overcome something, rise above something that was really, really very significant or even a series of things for some of you. But you never lost that seed of light within you. You may have been pushed to the extreme where you came close to feeling like you couldn't see the light, you couldn't see the way forward. But you know, the resilience that you've shown and the integrity with which you have dealt with this means that you've come back up. It's like you've started from scratch on more than one occasion. Gosh, I feel quite emotional. You know, this is, I'm really, really feeling this. Big, big respect. Okay, you've started from scratch on more than one occasion and it was never down. Do you know that's what's really coming through so strongly? It was never down to you. You know, it was I'm not saying we always have our part to play. Of course we do. But it's like I want to say I feel like you guys are, you know, um, you come into that realm of, of what we would we would see as an old an old soul, you know. And I think that the older your soul, I mean, you'd think that maybe the life lessons would get easier, but I don't think they do. I think they get tougher because we've come back to do the real work and we're working not just for ourselves. We're working for humanity on some level, whatever we're attending to personally, it is contributing to the greater whole. And there's such a level of respect here for you. I mean, I'm really, really feeling it. I feel like we've got not just your future self, but you've got ancestors around who are honoring your pathway, honoring your progress, honoring the, the longevity of your journey. And by that, you know, that's not age and stage now, that's where you've come from. You've had to pick yourself up on more than one occasion, but you, the life lessons that you're learning are energetically shifting and not just creating shifts for you, but they're creating shifts for humanity at large. Now you have something really important to share. You have a gift. It may just literally be the very essence of the gift is you. You are the gift. Just the you being you, having overcome these things, you being you, rising up, shining, being that harvest, being that harvest moon almost. You know, showing that despite adversity, you get up, you overcome things, you move forwards and you do it with integrity. You know, the turtle is like new beginnings. The harvest, 
you know, it speaks of these natural rhythms and cycles. Your future self is heavenly because your future self is actually, um, it's really rather, it's, it's quite humbling. I, I don't know how to say it, but your future self is actually quite in awe of you, which is really interesting, isn't it? Because this is the you, you you will become, but it's almost like they've reached a point. I tell you the card it reminds me of in the tarot. We'll draw tarot cards in a moment. But you know, the nine of pentacles, the nine of discs, you know, for me, this is a card of what I would call self-satisfaction, but not in an ego way. It's like it's it's deserved. It's like you got there, you did it, whatever you've achieved, you damn well deserve it. And you know it, you know that you've worked to, to get there. You've done the work, almost like at a level of soul, you've done the work, you've overcome problems. You know, you've got to the root of things. You've put down roots, you've become strong because you have put down those roots. Look at this incredible image here of those roots absolutely beautiful card your strength comes from the inside out your future self is is sitting in this space really literally in this central position and saying to you keep going um, this is really going to move forwards whatever situation you're currently in you've had to pick yourself up but this is going to gather momentum it's going to move forwards it's gonna happen but also your future self is saying, treat yourself with respect and integrity as well. Yes, show it to others, but treat yourself with respect and integrity too. The cycles of the moon, the moon will teach you when to move forwards, when to stop, when to take time out, when to breathe, when to ease off the accelerator, when to allow yourself to meander, when to, um, not to respond too quickly when, to, you know, the cycles of the moon teach us all of this. I do post for anyone new to my readings. I do post um, like a, a weekly moon update every single Friday now, um, which will tell you about the moon the, for the coming week. So you can tune in with that and, it, you know, it can really help you to navigate. Your future self is humbled by your progress and it does feel like that nine of discs. You deserve to you deserve to be where you're going to be in six months time because things are moving forwards whatever is going on around you you have something really magnificent here to share you've never lost that seed within you despite anything that's happened if anything the stuff that's happened and happened the problems in your world are actually fueling your progress and your contribution and that contribution will be, um, you know, whatever that is, the seed, the essence, the amazingness of you, that contribution, it, it is, it's like you being you is the best thing in the world and the best thing you can bring forth. Let's draw some tarot cards and see, can we be given some more information for reading number two about their opportunities that are arising and how things will happen over the next six months. Have a little look and see what we are seeing. Three of Wands. Wow, this is opportunities. We have the Hermit. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Empress. We have the Princess of Discs. We have the Queen of Swords. Oh, look at this and the Two of Wands. What a super card to finish your tarot cards here. Okay. There is more than one way ahead for you. There's more than one thing coming into your world. It's almost like all roads lead to Rome. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Now, 
what I am seeing is that you are still having to navigate some stuff and it does feel a little bit like you're having to navigate it on your own. But your future self is saying to you, look, you're not alone. OK, you're not alone. You're having to face something here. That's what's really going on. And you have been, you know, you've been through stuff before. You've experienced things before. But you are having to face something here. But it is going to move forwards. There's no question of this. It's going to move forwards. Let me move these up so that you can see the words here. This cards. Encouragement. Movement. Mars. Motion. Your situation is going to move forwards. So your higher self is, your higher self, your future self, well, your future self is very connected to your higher self. Your future self is saying to you, this is going to move forwards. Your situation will unfold. You have something really magical to share. Okay. And, and it may be that you're sharing something of your experiences. It's almost like, um, whatever you come through, yeah, it, it's just, you have something really valuable to offer. It just keeps coming through, really coming through. It will gather momentum. It will, it will, um, again, the harvest. This is a rune of promise. It's a rune of abundance. I mean, this is a rune that says, you know, you reap what you sow. Your pathway of integrity will bring in the harvest you desire, you deserve, you want. Whatever you are working at, it's going to happen. And it will also quite quickly. I mean, the three of wands is our first card out of the tarot. The three of wands here is, is a card of celebration and it's an initial completion. It's like a, a celebration of something that is, there's still work to be done, but it's like it's coming together. You can see it. So there's an initial stage of completion that is actually coming very, very soon. So whatever is around, whatever seeds you're sowing, whatever potential you're holding in your hands, literally, whatever potential you are dreaming and visioning in, reading number two, the opening is going to come quite quickly. I'm going to ask some, some more information about that card. Actually, we'll draw more cards very specifically around this opening. What will happen is when the opening comes, you're going to have to make a decision um, and it's it's almost like it, it's a decision that you have to make rather than somebody else. It's one of those, yeah, one of those choices. Just ponder it. There'll be a choice to make, you know, and, and the stuff that you're, what I want to say is the opening that comes may not come in the shape or the form that you were expecting, but however it arrives, it's an absolute gift. It is an absolute gift and it opens a pathway to whatever it is you're manifesting. So I love this, the poet. It's like whatever you are, the gift you hold, literally the potential you hold within your hands is going to burst forth. I and mean, we've got this beautiful disc here, Princess of Discs. It's really going to start to come to fruition. You're going to see a clear direction things will come into balance. You'll, you'll start to reap the rewards. And my goodness me, it's going to open up such a pathway of creativity. And by creativity, I mean, it's, it's that joyful life, you know, living life daily in a joyous way. It's like that passion when you get up and you're, you're fired up in the morning and everything is just amazing. You know, you just, you can't wait to get up and get started because life is so great. It's got that flavor. You're going to be on that pathway pretty quick, but this opportunity may not come in the form that you expect. So let's follow this through and draw some more cards here for you guys. What are we shown for reading number two? What is this opportunity? this opportunity four of arrows rest and look at the butterfly of transformation seven of bows clearance this is really interesting um seven of bows came up in reading number one as well 
it's a real transformative card because it's saying you have a choice. Right, this is really interesting. So I'm going to say to you, the Hermit here, this is very clear to me now. Um, something's going to happen that will cause you to have to stop. Okay, so even though, um, even though you might think that this is a pain in, pain, a pain in the bum, okay, um, actually it's, it's really, really, it's the right thing to do. There's going to be an opportunity that comes because you pause. Something will cause you to have to, not falter as such, but something will cause you to have to rest. You know, it may just be that you'll be, you take on too much, you're spinning too many plates, or there's some, something will happen. And I'm going to ask for more information and draw more cards for you, Super Souls, around this. But something will happen that will cause you to have to stop. And it's how you choose, what you choose to do, because there's then going to be a choice. And that choice is, is what is going to open up this kind of almost pathway to your you know, position of abundance, really. So whatever you are, whatever's going on around you, some of you may already be feeling a little bit, I would say stuck as such, but, you know, there's a sense of um, you, your future self is saying, look, you know, problem, a problem is an opportunity. So, so actually everything is pointing to that here. I want to ask more information about this because this is a completely transformative opening it's one of those it's almost like you know if, if you were going to that i don't know that interview and it was your dream job and your car breaks down or there's roadworks and you miss the interview and you think well that's it you know my life's over i'm never going to get the dream job or you know all the stuff that we go through our heads but actually it's then some, something will happen because of that breakdown that will cause you to meet somebody that will actually give you exactly um, exactly the opportunity that you needed and you would never have come across it if you hadn't broken down so it, it's like one of those sort of scenarios something's going to happen that's very unexpected not what you thought don't be phased by it your future self is saying don't be phased this is the window of opportunity that you've been waiting for it's going to give you something May we ask for a little more information, please? <laughs> okay, thank you. Ten of Wands, right, okay. For some of you, okay, this is really clear. For some of you, you're just carrying too much. You're doing so much, you, you know, again, big respect. You know, there's so much respect for you. It's like you're carrying so much that you you're exhausting yourself and actually your future self says stop rest you know rest and then you can make choices as to how you delegate and what you do you're going to need to let go of some of these things for those of you that are doing too much okay all about choices all about choices time to rest up okay because you will come back bigger brighter better so if you feel like there's just too much happening don't worry about it rest up and you will come back with so much vigor and so much more life you just i, I really feel very strongly your future self is saying to you take time to pause take time to rest treat yourself with respect as well as everybody else Let me please ask for some more information as well <laughs> your cards are flying out and then we have the ace of wands look at that i mean it's such a it's such an honoring of your pathway so i'm going to say to you super souls your future self is saying to you in the next six months you are going to need at some point to stop when you stop a transformation will occur it's almost i almost feel like if you don't choose to stop then the world will stop you 
Do, do you know what I mean when that happens? And you, you, you kind of, I, I've had days where I so know I do this. I really push myself and push myself. Um, I, I try to do it less. It's a really hard lesson, actually, if you're quite a motivated person or whatever. You know, you often push yourself and push yourself. But there's a point at which, you know, something happens. And, and if your body doesn't stop, your computer will stop or something will stop. And, it, and it's like, do you know what? I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried. And then... I've worked all day long or, or something didn't record properly and then I get up the next day and I start afresh and it just runs like clockwork and I think why did I spend all day pushing myself and pushing myself and ending up with something I couldn't actually properly use it wasn't well written or it wasn't you know the sound didn't work on the reading and I've got to do it again if I had just listened and stopped and then come back I could have had a whole day of rest pure enjoyment, I've done the garden or potted my house plants or done something and your future self is saying there's a real need for you to pace yourself. Now we go back to our primary cards here. I'm just going to move these. You know, encouragement, movement, roots, put your roots down, stand still, Mars, motion. Listen to the energy of, a, of the moon. If something stops you and you see it as a problem, trust that you're being asked to stop. Your future self is saying your desires, your passion, your energy, your pathway to happiness. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, wow. It's going to motor, but you need to pace yourself. And if you have a day when it doesn't feel okay, stop, rest, come back to it, delegate, rest, come back to it. That's the real key here. The harvest will come. Super souls, the harvest will come. Your future self is really giving you just the saying you have something amazing to bring into the world the very role model of you operating in this natural way of being. I, you know, we are not designed to go from A to B at speed every single day. That is just a man-made perspective. Actually, you know, if we are in alignment and we're living in tune with the natural world, there will be days when we fire away and there will be other days when we meander. But the meandering days are often when that spark of creativity comes, the problems, to, the solution to the problem arrives and we didn't have to work at it. It just came to us. This is a reading that is saying you have something amazing to bring forth and you really do. It's like the future is in your hands. The way in which you navigate this is almost in essence a part of that creative process and your future self is saying this will come to fruition. You will get your spark, your energy, di your direction, your calling, all of this will happen. But there's something about shifting the way in which you are navigating so that because it's kind of your, your future self is saying, look, if you don't stop yourself, the world will stop you. And I think we all know how that happens. So this is sort of such sound advice with such big respect for the fact that you have picked yourself up and you've just, I mean, wow, you've persevered. You've, you've just, you've achieved, you know, it, amazingly. I mean, you guys are amazing. It's time to give yourself, I'm going to say the level of respect you offer everyone else. That's what feels right here. Beautiful reading number two. I am really, I, I want actually to draw. I'm going to draw just a little bit of another card here because this is, I'm slightly intrigued by what it is you have to birth into the world because it feels really special. Now it could just be the essence of you, but I just it feels really special. So I'm just going to draw a card from the Akashic Tarot that's the one and also an angel answers card too that's the one. wow the architect one of keys 
this is I mean this is seriously you have something you have something to bring into the world um, but now is not the right time how fascinating rest yes you have something amazing this is like this is like building you you really do you have something significant to birth into the world but now is not exactly this is not the right time for you rest pause it will come okay the pathway will open up for you but right here right now you know the movement will come the motion will come right here right now your future self is saying stop pushing yourself stop pushing yourself now is not the right moment can I again draw more cards I would like to see how is this panning out what are we shown loving elementals oh this is beautiful oh wow well. and Archangel Gabriel okay oh and one more angel card too to complete the reading for you big happy changes super right i'm going to say um super souls you may well um be in some way you you may well have some element of communication that may be part of your calling loving elementals is about slowing down being connected to nature now some of you may well have a voice you may become a voice for the earth you may become the vo a voice for the environment. You may become a pioneer in some way, shape or form for health and well-being, for a natural way of living, for natural remedies, natural treatments, natural healings. Um, you could become a counsellor. You could write a book about healing. You could write a book about your experiences. You may share your experiences with people. It's that is going to come and that is your there's an aspect of your calling that you're going to bring forth, but it's not the perfect timing. Hold that seed, the architect. You know what you want to build. The shape of it will become really, really clear to you. That ace of wands, that two of wands, that pathway, the clarity of direction will become completely clear to you as as in how you deliver this, how you bring forth this incredible contribution and how that seed is sown. And you will get to some initial stage of completion, the three here, um, within the next six months. But the key to actually pulling it together, finding it, the source of that inspiration is to make sure you don't keep pushing and pushing and pushing yourself. You rest up, heavily engage in self-care, manifest with the moon literally the moon cycles listen to the moon this will come to fruition or i would say within the next six months your future self is saying you will absolutely get to that initial stage of you've got the grand design you've you've written the outline of the book you're starting to you've written that first speech you're you've, you've you're on your counseling course or you've qualified or whatever you've done you're at an initial stage and it will move forwards right now don't overload yourself pace yourself engage massively in self-care because that will actually become a part of what you share in some way shape or form and a part of your contribution which is going to become that pathway to those big amazing happy changes that you are so desiring don't lose sight of the seed you are the architect of your own dreams wow reading number two just um, tons and tons of love I mean this is awesome now if this has resonated with you uh, I'm putting these readings into a timeless readings playlist and I'll put the link in the information box below I post readings that look at the next seven days um, every Sunday so you can tune in with those at any time and we always find the right readings at the right time if you click on that timeless um, readings playlist you'll be able to find lots of direct answer timeless readings that help as well as those what's happening in the next seven days and they are relevant at any time um, super souls your future self is honoring you big time the harvest will come um, I 
have a, um, a, a I give away a free private reading and a pack of the Art of Manifestation Oracle cards every month. If you would like notification of any of my readings, if you subscribe and press the little bell icon, it, they should come into your stream. And if you want to be in my um, my monthly prize draw, if you add yourself to my subscriber email list, I'll put the link in the information box below as well. It will literally just take you to a sign in page. Once you're on the list, you're on it forever. And I, an I announce the winners um, on YouTube every month. So keep a lookout for that video. Reading number two. Oh man, you have something big to bring forth. You really do. And it's a reflection of your integrity and your pathway. I mean, you know, really, really huge and huge respect. And um, because, wow, this is the stuff of, yeah, it's the stuff of proper soul evolution. You're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Tons of love. Welcome, Super Souls, to reading number three. You have been drawn to the card of the Panda Balance, the symbol of the owl and the rune of movement, which is the bettering of any situation and the gathering of momentum. So pretty exciting. Now, we are asking your future self today. Uh, we are asking your future self what kind of opportunities, what exciting things are coming through for you. I'm going to use both those cards, actually, in the next six months. What would your higher self like you to know about? Oh, wow. We have the kiss and the orphan. It's pretty interesting cards. Ooh, very interesting. Let's draw some more oracle cards before we then do tarot as well. interesting energy here. Mm, just the one there. Let's have a look at these first. So you have, oh, the gentle gardener. Oh, that's adorable. So we have the kiss, the gentle gardener come together. Oh, oh, <laughs> reading number three this is really lovely we have the orphan third house communication dislike of others and take a risk this is a really clear reading already oh okay your future self is saying to you look this is very much to do with relationships okay this is to do with relationships, it's to do with love, it's to do with um, overcoming feelings of aloneness, of abandonment, of um, feelings that you're never going to, you're never going to find love or that the, the relationship that you want isn't going to come to you or the relationship that you're in won't actually happen. I feel like you're in a place where um, there's definitely actually an energy of relationship around you and your future self is saying to you don't rush this so if you're in an existing relationship and you're wanting it to move forwards don't rush it just allow it to unfold really get to know each other talk to each other get to know all the stuff, you know, the stuff that you like and the stuff that you don't like about each other. You know, th there's a lot of fear around you of something that isn't going well or something hasn't worked out. If you're single, um, you're fearful that you'll never find balance in a relationship or that you'll never achieve that balance. But the energy of relationship and, and new love, whether this is new love coming in as a spark to an existing relationship or it's new love that is coming into a brand new relationship. There's this feeling of um, overcoming your, your future self is saying, look, you're going to refind your balance. We have the compass card here. I feel as well, it's like, I love this card. This, this is little sort of like um, 
this little frog down here I always feel like it's kind of saying um you know you have to kiss lots of frogs to find your princess or prince whatever you're looking for but you know it's whatever nervousness that's the right word whatever nervousness you have around relationship some aspect of relationship it's rooted in the past you've had difficult experiences in the past you're fearful of it going wrong sometimes you know we go over and over especially when we start and we meet someone new or we end a relationship we go over and over and over and we think we just we just feel like we're never going to get away or break away from that take a risk you know take a risk here your future self is saying step out of your comfort zone and take a risk Feeling safe and secure is a wonderful experience, but if we remain in our safe zone for fear of change, we create a limiting and restrictive environment that can ultimately lead to stagnation and the loss of our creative potential to manifest our greatest contribution in the world. Let go of fear and take a risk. It's lovely, truly. This reading is really already saying to you, this is the movement, the bettering of any situation, the gathering of momentum, you're going to leave this sense of aloneness behind. I really do feel there's a the energy of a new phase of love around you. It's and it gets on track. Your future self is saying to you, "Look, you have to kind of risk." It's kind of that saying, isn't it? You know, um, never to have loved and lost, or, or better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. And I feel like you've been hurt, you've been challenged, and, and now you're, you're fearful around this. There's definitely an anxiousness, a slight trepidation, a little bit of fear around. And actually, your future self is just saying, go for it. Put down any fears that, that are to do with previous experiences. They just contributed to you and, you know, you contributed to them. Let it go. Move on. This is going to, you're going to come together. This is lovely. So if you're in an existing relationship, it hasn't been working. Gosh, the energy of the newness is around you. It's beautiful. Reading number three, it's absolutely beautiful. Your future self is really saying, take that risk, push it forwards. You can take it slowly. You don't have to push it forwards in a big way. Just but don't stay stuck, don't, don't withdraw. There, there's a real sense of needing to move together. Transform from the fear of aloneness into the wonderfulness of being on track with someone else. That's what's here. It's absolutely beautiful. So reading number three, let's see what else your future self is actually wanting to share with you let's draw some tarot cards can we see something about how this is going to unfold or evolve or what's happening here let's have a look for you reading number three Oh gosh, I can see you've really been hurt. There was a lot of real, yeah, you've, you've just, you've had a really, really, you've had a tough experience within relationship where also where I think people ganged up, you know, like the, the backstabby or people took sides just put that down there it really knocked you off balance but it really doesn't belong in your world now it really doesn't ace of wands this is a new beginning for you oh look at this super souls ace of wands ten of discs you know i want to say this is a real validation that this is you know this is a relationship of, of there's a lot happening here. The Empress, I think it's worth nurturing. Princess of Swords. Queen of Wands. And what do we have here? The Nine of Swords. You're fearful. 
you're really afraid it's all going to go wrong again. That's really coming through so strongly. You're fearful of making a commitment. You're fearful something awful will happen. Something will go wrong. You know what you want. You're really clear about what you want. And you've been really kind of working at manifesting this. This is about love. This is about intimacy. This is about closeness. But the last relationship or, or maybe could be the one before but you've had basically you've had real challenges for some of you sudden stuff for others it was just you know just whole situations people backstabbing you know just let's just put it down you know that's what I really want to say they you, it left you feeling so isolated so alone and I'm really, you know, this is hard. It's really hard when this kind of stuff happens because it leaves that fear of, gosh, you know, I dare I risk. But your future self is saying, go for it. <laughs> like, it's quite joyous, actually. I have to say, it's been lovely actually tuning in with future selves because there've been really distinct flavors to the future self support and guidance coming through and yours is really chirpy reading number three I do I literally it's like these little birds chirping away it's like go for it you know it's a new dawn we can all sing together this is lovely it's really it's beautiful it's really beautiful gentle gardener be easy go easy on yourself you don't have to rush you know but you do have to take action you don't rush, but you do have to take a risk. You do have to do this. You do have to enter into this. You have to open your heart. You have to be prepared to say, oh, you know, scary stuff. I'm going to give it a go. It's, oh, it's lovely. Reading number three, this is lovely. The rune of movement, the bettering of any situation, the taking you away from that feeling of aloneness into that space of connection, unitedness, passion, desire. You've wanted this for so long, super souls. You've watched it, you've even observed others. That's what I'm being shown here. You've even observed others. And your future self is saying, look, we don't want to passively continue walking around looking at everybody else and thinking, I want that. We want to take a risk and have that. That's really what's being said here. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Reading number three, it really is. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's, let's ask your future self, reading number three, that when you make a conscious choice to put down the fears and the worries and the doubts, and you take that risk, how is this going to unfold? Let's ask your future self. Okay, let's see what we have here. So how is, oh, look at that, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. It's going to move forwards. <gasps> And look at that, ten of discs, ultimate happy families, and you have the full new beginnings. Two of cups, beautiful, gorgeous, love, in love, magic, wonderful, page of pentacles. This is you manifesting. Now, isn't this interesting? You leave this behind. There's some grieving to be done. It's very interesting. What I would voice is, and, and your future self is really validating this for you in a really very wise way. Okay, let me move these cards along so we can see them all. So, I love that we have the Ace of Wands. I love that we have the Four. I love that we have the Two of Cups. I love that we have the Page of Pentacles. This is just going to start to really happen. What will happen is that as you start to commit and become involved, 
it will press some buttons. Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords. And what they're saying is you won't be able to put down your fears overnight. But what they are saying is you definitely need to put them down. Okay, the sun. You're going to need to bring things into balance, okay? Because what's going to happen is, I'm going to need to move these. Let me just pause the video so I can spread these out. Okay, super souls, hopefully you can see all these. So what your future self is saying, A, take a risk. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Go for it. Take that risk. Have that new beginning. Go for that love. Okay, it's going to manifest, it's going to unfold. There's going to be times when it unfolds. It's almost like your feelings will unfold so quickly that you'll panic. You'll be thinking, oh, it's going to go wrong, it's not going to work out. It, literally, I think, I think the moment you make this commitment, whoever's around you, I think that they're right for you. That's all I can say. They're certainly right for you at the moment. And they're coming in to help return and restore balance, probably for both of you, I suspect. Not just for you, but for them as well. You know, you both, you're, you're both wise, you've had experiences. And if you're in a relationship, you've learned from those experiences, you've gained the wisdom. This is the bettering of any situation. This is the rebalance. This is the, the balance, the equality, the, the gorgeousness in relationship. But I just, your future self is saying to you, it's like giving you the heads up. Whenever we embark on something, even if it's something we really, really want, inevitably it reminds us of what we've lost or what went wrong. And we can throw ourselves into something, we can launch ourselves in, we can take that risk, and then we can have a wobble. And this is actually what your future self is saying, look, as you embark on this, and it feels very, very right, that's all I can say, it feels completely right, it's time, whatever took place in the past, it is in the past, and you know that. But your, the speed, it's almost like the speed with which your feelings will gather momentum, okay, are going to um, cause you to wobble, but remember, we have the gentle gardener, your future self says, just put the brakes on, enjoy the journey, take your time, okay? Communication, talk about the way you feel. Say, talk to each other, say, I'm feeling phased, this is going so fast, I really, really want this, but I'm kind of terrified at the same time. It's that, it's that sort of energy, okay? But, this is lovely. All that your future self is saying is, I'm giving you the heads up. Don't overthink it, okay? Don't overthink it. Keep your mind and your emotions in balance. Look after yourself. This is in the past. And put the brakes on if it feels like it's moving too fast. It's not a stopping it. It's a celebration of the journey. Gentle gardener communicate. Those communications will build you such a strong foundation. You know, this is the, the energy of the sun here. We're talking longevity. We're talking something quite amazing, sitting under the queen of wands. I mean, look at the light coming through in these cards. It's beautiful, beautiful here. Even the crescent moon in the kiss has got those vibrant colors the reds, the oranges, the light, the source energy. I think this new phase in an existing relationship or a brand new relationship is really, really right for you, reading number three. And in the next six months, it's going to, it, it's about taking that risk and then knowing that you can own the fears by talking about them together and taking it gently, but it's going to go from strength to strength. It will gather momentum. This is beautiful. Reading number three, I'm not going to draw any more cards. I feel we've, we've drawn what we need to. This is a beautiful reading. It's such a confirmation. Your future self is really, really saying, you know, this is, it's time. It's time to come out of the safe zone. Let's do this. 
It's just, you know, and your future self is celebrating. It's like reaching that point where we've overcome those fears. We don't revisit. Or if we do, we bring it back into balance just like that because we get good at that and we talk about it together. It's, it's lovely. Reading number three, this is beautiful. I am very, very much um, loving this reading and really, really grateful to your future self for showing up in such a vibrant, um, enthusiastic, positive, affirming way and also such a real way, kind of saying, you know, this, this, this will happen because it's natural. You're a normal human being. If you've been through this big stuff, then when you start again, it, it's bound to feel a bit scary but go for it anyway. Talk about it. Just take it gently and actually it will go from strength to strength. Uh, reading number three, this is just beautiful. So super souls, thank you so, so much for joining me. If this is resonating and you'd like to get a notification of any of my readings, then if you subscribe and press the little bell icon, they should come into your stream. This is going into my timeless readings playlist where there's a ton of readings I'm building on this all the time lots of readings as well I post every Sunday um, with a reading that is about the next seven days um, whenever you tune into those they will be right for you they're timeless readings even though they are seven days ahead and there's lots of other specific questions in readings that um, I'm working through there for you as well. So do tune into them. I do have a monthly prize draw as well. I give away a free private reading and a pack of the Art of Manifestation Oracle cards. That's these ones, the Take a Risk card here. Um, if you'd like to be in that prize draw, it's a, it's a subscriber offer and I have a subscriber email list. Just add yourself to the list. Once you're on it, you're on it for good. Just, you know, it's just a sign up page and my colleague draws the names out of a hat and I announce the winners once a month. So watch out for that video if you're, if you're on that, um, if you're on that list. Super Souls, um, just, well, I'm just sending you all the joy in the world. I mean, really, truly all of the joy, whatever has taken place in the past, it's time to put it aside, take a risk and go for it. And yeah, if you have a wobble, check in with a reading and, and get yourself grounded. You'll find the right reading at the right time of that, I'm certain. Super Souls sending you all the joy and all the love. In fact, I'm just going to say, I'm going to send you both all the joy and all the love in the world. Super Souls, tons of love.